a ton. There's a lot to learn. And actually, I just finished changing my rear tire earlier this morning. Talk about a learning experience. <laughs> yeah. I went to the dealership and they wanted to charge me like 200, 250 bucks to change the rear tire. And I really didn't think that was a good deal. To me as though I could get a rear tire for $50. I ordered it for JC Whitney. And besides the fact that they had it back ordered and I had to wait a month. Uh, it worked out well. I ended up popping the tube, but that's okay because I needed a new one anyways, and it was a good learning experience. So, yeah, it's kind of rusty. The rim inside was rusty, and the tube had rust on it, even though it was rubber. And I just didn't like how it looked. And I tried, I tried patching the puncture that I made in it, but it was weird. It was losing about five psi per day for about three days. I had it at 40 psi and it dropped down to about 25 psi and stopped leaking so I guess it was a high pressure leak or something like that and I considered you know riding it and see what happens but I was like you know it's not worth it it's not worth it I went and bought a tube a replacement tube for $11.99 and I put it in I did not puncture or pinch the tube this time and uh, I'm riding my bike, so obviously it works for now, and we'll see. <laughs> so, it was worth it. You know, you gotta do things right. The guy I talked to, I talked to a guy, the, the guy that was gonna sell me the Ninja I'm looking at. He's like, you know, when you buy a used bike, man, he's like, big, you just gotta look at it and you gotta see. He's like, you look at the person, and if the guy looks like a, he's, you know, party goes out parties every night, he's like, basically just remember this. If the person doesn't take care of himself, he's not taking care of the bike. And he says he's been riding bikes for all his life and he's 50 years old, so, you know, I guess he's doing something right, but... Uh, uh, he is saying, you know, about 85% of the bikes that he, he looks at or buys, uh, he's saying that, that there's something wrong with it or it's in bad condition that he wouldn't want to ride it like that, so... You really got to be careful when you buy used bikes. You got to look it over and go through every nut and bolt and tighten each one. Because when you're hurling yourself down the road at 100 miles an hour, it, it doesn't pay to, to chintz out and stuff like that.